Hey YouTube, how's it going? I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mine was relatively productive. I was doing a lot of yard work here at my parents' house. Um, and with that being said, I was flip-flopping between my OtterBox Defender case and my LifeProof case. Just to kind of, you know, give the cases another run around. And plus, I was... A lot of the stuff I was doing required, you know, my phone to stay protected because I didn't want it to get damaged. Um, but wearing, wearing the cases also brought back, A, the nostalgia because with OtterBox, I grew up with it with the 3GS and then onwards. But also, um, I was reminded that there were some negative aspects that I didn't like on the OtterBox case and the LifeProof case. And so I thought I'd give you guys, you know, a little video on what my pros and cons were. Now, normally I could do a video with these cases along with, what is it, Griffin Survivor case. There's um, another company out there called Lunatic, and they have some pretty uh, extreme cases out there. Uh, there's Pelican, but, you know, right now these are just the two that I have, and I thought, you know, it would be the best video to make because there are a lot of people where they want to go either OtterBox or LifeProof because those are the two things I normally see just out in public so and if you can tell there's kind of a, a big selection here what I'm gonna do in this video is I have my brother's iPhone 6 here and he has the OtterBox Defender case I have my iPhone 6 which is in the LifeProof and so, with that being said, this is my Defender uh, series case, and this was actually a uh, damaged life-proof case that I ordered, but I contacted them and said, hey, you know, um, this was damaged, can I get a replacement? I was still under warranty, which they did, and which is what I have now. So, I'm going to show you um, basically how, how the case is, because I don't like when you say you have like the, the five extreme cases, and they just use one phone. In my opinion, you can't really get a good appreciation of the case and full look around. Yeah, you can, they'll hold it up to the camera and do screenshots, but you kind of lose the, uh, in the, the feel of the case because they're swapping so much. And plus I feel like it, it hurts the phone a little bit. But I mean, that's just me. So I thought this would be an easier way to demonstrate the cases that how they look on the phone, but also how they look, you know, in this case, OtterBox's bits and pieces. So in fact, with that being said, let's get, let's start with uh, OtterBox's Defender series. Now, like I said, I grew up with OtterBox ever since I got the 3GS uh, iPhone. And I used the heck out of that case until I kind of got brave enough and used the Commuter series and the uh, what is it, in-case slider. Those were actually some really nice cases. But, um, I'm, I use that for the, like I said, the 3GS, the 4, 4S, and then up to the 5S. But I noticed when they made the case for the 5S, and now for the 6S, that they kind of lacked in a couple of departments. Now, here's what the case looks like on the phone. Let me kind of scoot that aside. You know, it's relatively big and chunky. Um, it's got three layers, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. But you have the front, which has a nice uh, screen shield cover right here. You have a, uh, a bit that protects the Touch ID. You have port covers to that hides your auxiliary and your lightning charging port which is, you know, comes standard, really. Um, then you have a cover here, which covers, which hides the volume rocker. Um, it's not too deep in there. I mean, you can get it with one finger, you know, without having to dig. Uh, volume buttons. Uh, with the OtterBox, they took a little bit of force to get in, uh, to push. And in fact, if you can tell, you can hear like a little creaky noise to it. Um, I'll kind of get into that a little bit. Power button, that one is actually a lot easier to uh, 
manage other than unlike the uh, value buttons here your Apple logo is covered it's got a nice plastic on there camera is completely open and so is the front-facing camera and the headphone now that's the part that kind of threw me off from OtterBox along with uh, a couple others <clears throat> so like I said it's a three-piece design you got your hard plastic here here's the front of it with the uh, French screen shield the back with the cover to protect your Apple logo and some it locks into place all around if I can demonstrate this properly for everybody there we go line up everything you have a lock here you have a lock here here and here and it's the same on the other side lock there there and there and then what you do is you take the rubber which it feels good it's got a nice uh, texture so that way you can hold it and it won't slip out of your slip out of your hand when you're holding it and it's not too tack tacky so that way you know it's not hard uh, when you put it in your pocket or taking it out um, let me kind of massage that in all right and that's pretty you know that's how it is on your phone um, I haven't used it too much like unlike my brother where you can't really hear the uh, the noise that it makes the the gripes that I had with OtterBox and kind of even though I got it for the six um, I don't use it as much anymore was because the front camera and the headphone was open same with the rear camera and there's not even a filter for your speaker now with the 3GS everything was covered why they got rid of the filters in the front I don't know but that kind of, that's kind of what threw me off especially when they say that it's dust protect that it offers dust protection or dust resistance I, I don't know I forgot what it says on the website uh, but they say that because it's got these port covers on here uh, I mean yeah you could say that but even with the microphone that's not even that doesn't even have a filter of its own so dust is still gonna get in here I would be willing to wager I'm not gonna do it with my brother's phone but since he uses this a lot he's already got I don't know if you can see dust already building up in there I wouldn't be surprised if there's any back here and down in here why'd they get rid of the the filters I don't know and so you can't really say that it's dust dust protection or has dust, dust protection and full full body protection because you got stuff that's exposed so that's the only thing where I am kind of stopped using my OtterBox Defender case it was because of those I mean yeah I could be you know just overthinking overthinking it or being you know too overly cautious but I mean what else is, is to say there yeah say the camera is you know recessed in but if you drop this on a dirt road you're bound to get damage on that or on the front I mean come on but I mean that's just my opinion now with those being said this is why I lean towards life proof now I don't have the back part to this because that's the part that was damaged so I got rid of it but with life proof it's just a simple two-piece you got the front here and you got the back the back is let me see if I can show you it's just a thin part it's just a thin plastic but that also holds the o-ring which adds the waterproofing to this case now on the front as you can tell with the the front that I had here it's completely covered you know your camera and your headphone it or what is that I, am I saying that right I had the headphone or the earpiece is completely covered it kind of muffles the sound of when someone's talking to you but not too much um, I haven't noticed it down here you have your port cover it's also got the o-ring material which ha keeps it you know from water from getting in you have a filter or yeah I want to say that's a filter in there for your speaker again the sound is kind of muffled but not so bad to where you can't hear the phone 
if it rings or if you get a text message. Um, here, this is the headphone jack where you, this is kind of tedious, but I mean, how, what's another way for you to keep this port from getting water in it? But you know, you just unscrew it there and you can see that green, that's the O-ring that keeps the water from getting in. So that's, you know, what I like. And I don't mind, you know, unscrewing and screwing that in. You just get used to it. Apple logo again is covered and same with the camera. Now what I'll do is maybe in the middle of the video or at the end, I will throw a couple of pictures taking, taken with my phone and with my brother's phone just to see if there's any difference in clarity because this is, you know, pure iPhone uh, open to the world. Well, this is life proofs uh, covered camera because it's got a protective film on it. But um, yeah, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Um, the buttons on the life proof, the volume buttons are easy to push in, unlike Otterboxes, where you kind of have to use a little bit of force on it. I mean, maybe it's just the rubber on Otterboxes, but you know, these are these feel really good to get to. The power button is just like the volume buttons. You kind of have to push. You don't really hear it or feel any type of feedback, but I mean, just seeing your phone turn on means that you pushed it. Uh, the volume button, this is kind of weird. You push up to, to put it on vibrate, and then you push down to get uh, to pull it out of vibrate, which you know, it, it's opposite. Because on the phone, you push down for vibrate, you push up to take it off. But here. You just got to do the complete opposite. I mean, once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Um, and again, your Touch ID is going to be protected. Again, it's got a film on here. Um, and the best part is it's super slim. I mean, if, if you like the feel of Apple products and the, the fit and finish, LifeProof does a pretty good job there. And as you can tell, I'm showing you how thick the OtterBox case is compared to LifeProof. That's pretty nifty. Um, there is, I'm kind of weighing out here. There might be a little more weight to this than the OtterBox, but again, lighter material, three piece design, you know, all, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just make this video for you guys just to show you, you know, between the OtterBox Defender and the Life Proof. Uh, it depends on what you do. Like I said, I was working with concrete and dirt, and I thought the OtterBox would be something I could use, but then again, I remembered, you know, that was open, so was my camera, so no matter what I did, if I put it down or face up, something was gonna, some type of dirt was gonna get in, especially at the speakers. So after a few days, I just went straight to my life proof, and I wasn't worried at all. You know, I literally, when I was working on one of the water pipes, I had it with me and I literally, you know, threw it on the gravel. I didn't care because I had to, you know, take care of it. And I wanted my phone with me because just in case anybody called or whatnot. So, you know, that's it guys. Just kind of quick, kind of short video between like the OtterBox Defender and LifeProof case. So if you guys like the video, hit the like button right here subscribe to my channel, share the video. That would be actually pretty fantastic. If you know someone who's stuck between these two cases, share this, let them see it. May hopefully I touched on everything. I know I'm kind of late on it, on making this kind of a video, but you know, maybe I touched on something that somebody else did. Um, but anyway guys, like I said, either at the end of this video or somewhere in the middle, I will throw on those photos, but Again, this is Scully Bones with another Scully Bones Reviews. Peace to the living, y'all, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.